Good day everyone, it's Peachy and welcome back to more Illusion of Gaia. So, um, we got the introduction video out of the way where we learned about, um, sort of learned about the gameplay. Not really, but I think in this episode we will more, so. We met up with Kara, the princess of Edward's castle, and her father apparently wants a ring that we apparently don't know where it is because it wasn't in the luggage, so I guess we'll bother the king now. The interview room is before you. Climb the stairs to meet King. To meet King. To meet the King. Okay. So you are Will. Sorry to kept you waiting. Let's go see King Edward. If you want to see the King, keep your wits about you. Okay. If you want to see the King... <laughs> the guards learn to say the exact same thing to each other. They must be twins. Hey look, there's Queenie. Hi Queenie. Oh my. The king sent you the letter. Talk to him. Uh, I want to talk to you, babe. <laughs> Can I be the prince? JK. Oh well. Alright, king. Your royalness. What's up? Oh, your will. You look so shabby. Well, did you bring the crystal ring? Uh, well, I don't have it. So, no? Well, as many of you know, it's good to be um, honest because I don't have the ring. So, I guess we'll tell him that. How dare you say such a thing to me! Guards, throw this impudent weasel in prison! Then go to Will's house and find the ring! Yes, sir! What? No, not the prison! I'm just a little boy, I can't handle prison. Ma'am, save me! Uh, excuse me? Did you say, ma'am? <laughs> oh my goodness. Even the queen was unhelpful. Well, all she did was say, um, just sit in her chair. Edward's prison! I wonder why I have to suffer so. I didn't do anything. I wonder what will become of me now. Anyway, I have to think of a way to get out of here. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked! <laughs> Someone was chained to this ball. Scary. Right, guys? The moss has seen thousands of prisoners come and go. Those prisoners must have been encouraged by any sign of life. Oh shoot, I just missed something. Oh, I missed something. I missed some text. Well, I'm sure I can pause the video later on and then let you guys read it. Uh, this part was one of those. This was probably one of the weirdest um, portions of the game. A soldier's whisper comes from a hole in the ceiling. It's today's, it's today's ration of bread. Even Moss drinks water. Just bread. <laughs> Will tastes some of the bread. The bread is hard. It's the worst thing he's ever tasted. For some reason, he really misses Grandma Lola's creative cuisine. It's kind of weird how um the prison is. Do the prisoners just like let it get stale and stuff? Time passes slowly, but the long day is ending. It pains me to think of the prisoners feeling not knowing what they should do. While I was trying to think of a way out, I drifted off to sleep. <laughs> okay, now he's asleep. A familiar voice speaks from the flute. Will! Will! This is your father! I guess we'll make him a deeper voice. Father? You were... You were a cute child. You... <clears throat> You were a cute child, but now you've grown up. Isn't it Grandma Lolo's pie delicious? Uh, sure, Dad. Where are you? I can't tell you now. I have something to ask of you. Listen. Yes, if it's your wish. <laughs> no, you deserted me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think we'll just say that for a comical effect. I want, I want you to save me. I want you to save me. I too was once held in this cell. Look at the left hand wall. There's nothing. Oh hey, Jules. This? Have you heard anything from Grandpa Bill? Grandpa? He was an architect. Your grandpa knows the secret of that stone. Secret? What secret, Dad? Start startling. Starting now, you will encounter a terrible thing. Do I have to? <laughs> Good or nice one. Pick up the stone your enemy left. 
The power of the crystal is contained there. That power will prove to be your ally. You must make a pilgrimage to the ruins of the world to find the mystic statues. The closer you get to the crystal, the stronger the evil power will be. Will, no time. Quickly, first to the Incan ruins. The flute's voice fades and disappears. Dad, where are you? Where's my flute? There it is. Oink, oink. Hey, I remember that, oink. Piggy, save me. Break me out. Well, I know you can't. Probably can't, but oh well. This is our, this is going to be our Pokemon goal. <laughs> I wonder if this is Kara's pig. What luck, there's a letter and a key tied to its tail. The letter read, Sorry to hear that you're in prison. It's terrible what my father's done, but hear what I have to say. I too am in a prisoner, in a prison of silk and gold. But tonight I will leave the castle forever. You also will be free, Kara. Yeah, they got item music. You have the key. But the thing was, when I first played this game, I said, like, oh, I have the key. Then I was like trying to use it. And I kept, it kept reading that it's locked. It's Or not kept reading. It would say it was locked. And I'd be like, how do I get out? Red jewels fly to the jeweler, jeweler gems in a single ray of light. No, come back. I still need you. Oh, well, it's gone. But what you're supposed to do is you press um, select... And then pick up the key, and then use it. As he turns the prison key, the steel doors open with a dull sound. <laughs> oh man, pretty unique stuff, right guys? As he turns the prison key, yeah, so now you can open this door. Hey look, there's a guard here. Is he a prisoner? I don't need anyone's help. I can get out myself. Okay, dude, I'll see you later. I'm surprised we didn't hear have no words to discuss with Usually prisoners do that, right? Nothing important over here, right guys? Nope, nothing important at all. Oh well. Okay, so I guess we'll get the... The song, and we'll get going. Alrighty guys, so it's officially time to play the game. This is what makes it unique, okay? Okay, so as you can see, there's some baddies flying around in this room. So what you do is you go up to them and then press the A button, or B button. Um, you, as you can see on the left or the right side where, they're en where it says enemy, their lives will appear in their red. So that's how you can tell their HP. My HP is on the top left corner, which is blue, so... And then, um, the heart and the seven is actually sort of like your, um, life count. I'm trying to keep... Okay, so right here, where the heart is, um... That sort of says, like, um, if you were to get killed off in the game, um, you don't have to go too far back in the stage. Uh, you kind of, like, stay close to near where you got killed off. However, if you have zero on this side, um, you're going to have to start all the way back at the beginning of the stage. So that's why it's very important to watch your lives. Um, I can't get to the other side mainly because of the camera movement, but see the seven on the right side? Um, that is to, that's sort of like how many um, of those jewels, remember the one I collected just a while ago? You have to collect those, when you collect a hundred, then you get um, a life, I guess you could say, so. That's why you want to collect those jewels, so, make those are important, so. If you have no um, hearts, you're going to have to start at the beginning of the stage again, and it can be pretty tedious if that happens, but we don't need to worry about that, because this is the easy stage, so. Um, when you press the start button... The force means that's your position on the map. So as you can see on there, there's me. Um, enemies, that's how many enemy, enemies. Enemies are in the room, in the room you are in or around. So it can get confusing pretty much, but it, uh, we'll explain that later on. And then items, the chest means that there's like an item there. It could be a herb, a uh, power up, um, jewelry and stuff like that. So just watch out. So there's one more enemy we need to get rid of. So. We'll do that now. So whenever you, okay. So as you can see, I got HP. Your heart power has increased. Um, when you defeat all of the enemies around you, a jewel will appear. Yeah, so you'll get um, upgrades, um, defense power booster, and attack strength powered up. If you get rid of all the enemies in the room, so you can tell by pressing start, and then it'll tell you there's none. So that's what you want to do. Underground tunnel. 
Then you just button mash to get um, through the stage. Yeah, so then you'll learn all types of attacks later on, but for now we can just use our stick. <laughs> well, actually, when I was younger I thought it was a stick. Um, it was actually a flute, apparently. So in this game, you use your flute to fight. It's pretty hilarious. When several, Some items can actually fl uh, float towards you, like those stones we saw earlier. So you just do this and it'll come towards you. Um, some of the enemies have like attacks that can um, go to you from afar, like here. Just press the L and R button and sometimes it will deflect. Not all the time, but certain attacks will, so you just want to watch out for that. Um, each of the enemies have their own attack power, so you want to watch out because um, you can get killed real easy. Some places like this, I should have explained, you can't access it unless a certain enemy is defeated. Then um, after you defeat them, then the stage will open up. Yeah, so um, you want to try and get rid of all the enemies as quickly as possible before they start disappearing on you and you're like, no. Yeah, see, as you can see, like some of these stones can um, fly towards you. Yeah, you want to collect these. So make sure you collect these guys. And sometimes the enemies can get stuck. It's pretty hilarious glitch. I love using that. Okay. Bat wings! Oh yeah, my strength has increased. Your strength has increased. Good, I needed that anyways. So now my attack power is more powerful now, so it'll take less time to get rid of the enemies. Or maybe the same amount of time. Hey, remember this stone we saw earlier? This has the same shape as the statue from the sea seaside cave. It does, huh? Ah, pixels! Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> it talks. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, get, get out of my way. I'm trying to fight. Ugh! <laughs> yeah, that thing can be annoying too, but you'll get used to it later on. The music is very catchy on here too. I've always loved the um, fight battle music. Oh no, my HP! I believe the jewelry will stay there for a while, so you don't have to worry about trying to hurry up about it. Okay. You found a herb. Herbs in this game are actually e <clears throat> are actually your HP sort of thing, so they can refill about I guess two HPs worth. Each of my HP of the giant balls are about blue, blue. They're about two point two hits, I guess you could say. The the smaller versions are um one hit, and then the totally faded ones are like no, no. I thought I had it. Oh well. I think I don't know if my defense went up. <laughs> Should have been paying attention, but I didn't. Look out! Yeah, so later on you'll get all these massive power-ups that'll help you out in battle. So for that, for now you have to use the basic standard stuff. Get rid of that bat, he's in my way. Yikes! That nearly killed me. <laughs> it's kind of weird, like, who's throwing these swords or javelin sticks at us? The Olympics is going to be starting next week, or so to my understanding that they are still starting next week, right guys? Ooh, secret rooms! Thank goodness we have those. Look at this guy. <laughs> when you defeat the enemies, a shiny silver dark gem will appear. If you collect a hundred of those, you gain one life. Even if you're defeated, you won't have to go very far back. Oh yeah, that's what I was explaining to you guys about the whole um, starting the stage over if you get too far behind. So yeah, if I were to be killed like right now, I would have to go all the way back to the entrance of the stage and start over. But um, if I had a life, I would probably still be in this area if I was killed. So That's why you want to try and collect these um, the dark gems, because they save your life a bunch. And then of course some of the enemies get more powerful along the way, as you can see. We had a brown bat, and those can be annoying. Okay, good. I like how these lights look, they're pretty cool. <laughs> good job, game. You did pretty good. He he softly played the melody he had learned from Lola. Man, I'm getting thirsty now. <laughs> Dang, this game is fun. It's so fun. Oh my gosh.
Oh my gosh! Oh man, we're already like halfway done with this video, aren't we, guys? Ugh, my nose. He heard a soft voice voice from somewhere. Strange voice. Go to the switch on the right wall! Okay. Strange voice. The door will open unless you push the switch on the count of three. When I shall push the switch, I'll count one, two, three. Don't make a mistake. I like that blue text, though. I wish I had a blue text. I would be using that all the time. Okay. Oh, yeah, guys. That's right. Some of these have a time events. Some of them have to be precise. Some of them are just like just a little or before the timer. But for this one, it was like a little before. So, yeah. So some of them have time events. So you need to watch out for those. Okay. Stop. The door is open. Go in. There's that weird whistling noise again. <laughs> okay, so we need to press this button, but I can't reach it for the life of me. How are we going to do that? Well, we'll find out. We'll figure it out. I'm going to make it. I'm going to shake it. <laughs> Good job, guys. We're getting rid of all the enemies. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. I love how you can cheat the game like that and kill two enemies at once. Good stuff. Okay, what? We keep seeing this weird galaxy thing. Luckily, at the time... Uh, whatever. So that's kind of weird how we have this like weird space place. Dark space. Ooh, check out that background. Now that is cool. I want my room to look like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Will hears a voice in his head. Will, I've been waiting a long time for you to come. I am free dead. I am eternal. Let me help you on your journey. As time goes by, you'll come to understand my nature. Will gradually loses consciousness. Oh, what? Who am I? <laughs> oh, so for those of you guys who don't know about this place, this place is what you would consider the, um, the Pokemon Center for, um, for the game, so... This is what this place is. So you just go up to this lady, or guy, or spirit, or angel, whatever it is. And they'll refill your HP for you, and then they'll save your progress. So, But we'll be running into these ones later on. Actually, I forgot about that. The only way to save the game is if you come in here. So I guess I'll have to re be rem rem reminded of that. So anyways, let's go. Now, funny thing was when I played this game for the first time, I thought this is what Will would look like when he was older, but to my understanding, it was just another sort of free-spirited, um, if you know what I mean, so. Remember earlier how we couldn't reach this? Well, now we can! Hooray! So this guy, his name is Freed, and he uses his sword to get his attacks underway, so you want to use his um, abilities as much as you can. So just like how Will can power up, uh, Frieden can also power up, so you need to be mindful of that too. Just imagine if you played that as well, it would take forever. <laughs> yeah, so this is Frieden, so he'll be helping us on our journey from time to time. I will tell you that right now, sometimes you need Frieden in order to progress the game, or you will need Will to progress, so you gotta get the idea in your head, so... Is there going to be more power-ups? Well, you'll have to stay tuned and find out. <laughs> but yeah, I think Frieden is probably the best character by far. I think, in my opinion, so. Will's pretty good too, but you know, the only thing is that since he's the kid of the game, he's sort of the weakling, so. Couldn't rely on him too much. You found a red jewel. Yay, red jewels. Look at that water, man. That's cool. I love how clear and blue it looks. Yeah, so as you can see, some of the enemies are the same like from the previous or early on, but the only problem is that they get a, a different color variation, so that means they're tougher. TOUGHER! <laughs> okay, so I guess... Oh, look at we made it! I made it! Yay! Uh, something about... Okay, I think it says something like, if the um, dungeon is cleared and there's no threat, then you'll change back to the way you were. So now we're Will again, so now we don't have to worry about everyone saying, Who are you? You're not Will. <laughs> There's a red jewel in there. Sweet. Hey, girl. I saw you, but I'm surprised you can change your shape like me. I'm Lily, an ittery girl protected by the flower spirit. Hey. 
Oh my gosh. There's always that Peach and Daisy reference in this game, right everyone? We have Kara who technically is Peach, and then we have Lily who's pra practically Daisy because of the flower spirit. Hey! How do you know, Amelik? You could only have heard from us! Well, I learned it from Grandma Lola. She hummed it whenever she was upset. Hey! I've had some of her pie. It tastes rather unusual, doesn't it? What? You know my grandmother? Why didn't you tell me this in the first place? <laughs> hey! Actually, she asked me to rescue you. There's that weird noise again. <gasps> Do you hear that? <laughs> the el hey! The other is calling. I have to go. Oh, so that she knows that voice, huh? We'll meet again. Goodbye, Will. Hey, wait, come back. Can't you save me out of this prison? No? Okay, bye. So she's our blue girl with the blue text. Sweet. Edward's castle. I like how the um, monotone is like blue for this. But I think some of you know why it looks blue. <laughs> so evil. Anyways, upstairs. Looks like, um, oh hey, look, it's nighttime. This is what his text said. Pretty hilarious stuff. Ah, it's you! You've escaped from the prison! Back to when you came! Trust me when I, what I say. Run from this castle! It'd be terrible if King Edward found you here. It's kind of weird how we can't talk to King Edward at night. It'd be kind of cool to see his animation for nighttime. Right, guys? Are you going to take Kara out of the castle? Don't let the king find you. Please take care of the princess. Princess! <laughs> oh well. Still says love you and he's shy. Somewhere about not knowing. Oh, the arrowhead water's gone. So no way. Soldier. Zzz. What's, what's with this place and all the soldiers saying zzz? Of course you came. Thank you. Was the guard outside asleep? His nickname is Old Snorhead, sleeping again. Your little pig has come. His name is Hamlet, cute, isn't he? He's very smart. He has a strange kind of, he has some kind of strange pig power. Oh, really? <laughs> Yay, hooray for pig power. Please take me out of here, say Kara. Well, that's kind of cool. Guess we better get going. I guess we're doing a royal kidnapping this time. Last time we weren't doing it. Alrighty guys, so you have to come down here mainly because someone, a certain somebody will say, We need food to survive on our adventure. And that's when you have to look in there. You found a large yummy roast leg of yak. Well that sure does sound appetizing. A ro roast leg of yak? Mmm, give me a slice of that leg. Everything's ready. Let's go before the soldier finds us. Okay, Kara, I guess we'll hurry up then. The soldiers could be here at any moment, right guys? It's not like this is a game or anything. <laughs> I laugh at my own jokes. It's stupid. But, you know, I find it hilarious. Uh -huh, uh -huh. At last we leave. Let's go to your house. I'm worried about your grandparents. They hurry to Will's. Well, at least Will was running. Like he's like, I can't. I need to get going, Kara. I can't just read all this for you. Oh yeah. So whenever you get traveling companions, guys, you get them on the world map too. It's pretty cool. I always like that details. Like yeah, I'm so glad it's not just the main character traveling. They have the side characters on there too. So. Excuse me, guys. Will's house. What? What's happened? Said Will. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that's gonna do it for today's episode. So as exciting as it is, I will catch you next time for more Illusion of Guile next time, okay? Bye!